Welcome to the channel Data Science Demonstrated. In this video, I will show you on how to use data science to analyze driving behavior such as overspeeding, hard acceleration, and anticipation. You'll also see on how to use machine learning to analyze the impact of driving behavior on the vehicle. Driving behavior is used in various data science applications such as data-driven insurance or vehicle fleet management. Of course, making a YouTube video while driving is not recommended. You can also experience some of the techniques which will be shown in this video on the channel's website experiencedatascience.com which is a no-code platform to learn data science. So friends, let's get started, but do not forget to subscribe to the channel, like and comment on the video. The first thing to analyze on how one drives is to collect data. Most of the vehicles have sensors which measure various things such as speed, temperature, acceleration and much more. And this is done using a vehicle telematic device. There are various vendors which provide such devices. This device takes data recorded by sensors and then transmits it to a vendor database. The data can then be used to understand the driving behavior. You can also ask your vendor to provide access to the data so that you can analyze it in more detail. The data which is collected looks something like this. It has got a device ID which identifies the telematic device. The timestamp of the data record which has got the date as well as the time. There are various things which get measured, for example, the position of the vehicle which is measured as latitude, longitude and elevation. The speed of the vehicle which is measured in kilometers per hour or miles per hour. In this video, I will use an example of data collected for a car located in India in the state of Karnataka. The data collected is for the 21st of August 2020. We will attempt to find out if the driver of the car had a good driving behavior or no. We will measure the following driving behavior, the speeding, harsh acceleration and anticipation. So did the driver had a good driving behavior on the 21st of August 2020? Let us find out. But shown here is the route taken by the driver on the 21st of August. The data which has been used to make this analysis is based on the telematic data on timestamp, latitude and longitude. The driver made a trip from UDP to Holekato and the route taken is the highway number 66 which runs across the western coast of India. You can also observe a marker which is the location where the maximum speed of 92 km per hour was recorded. The speed limits of the car on the National Highway 66 is 100 km per hour. So the driver has been within the speed limits and we can give a green tick for the speeding behavior. Let us now measure the acceleration. Shown here are some of the other markers before achieving a maximum speed of 92. And this shows a speed of 73 and then a speed of 85 and then achieving the maximum speed of 92 km per hour. We can put this vehicle speed in time perspective with this line plot. Here you have the time on the x-axis and the vehicle speed on the y-axis. This curve corresponds to the acceleration. The driver started to accelerate at 14 hours 43 minutes and 21 seconds when he was at a speed of 71 and then he reached a maximum speed of 92 at 14 hours 43 minutes and 49 seconds. So he increased his speed by 21 kilometers per hour in 28 seconds. Now in order to see if this acceleration is a harsh acceleration or not, we need to convert it into a gravitational force also called as the g-force, which gets applied on the car due to acceleration. So a speed increase by 21 km per hour in 28 seconds corresponds to a g-force of 0.208 meters per second square. Here is a table which maps the g-force to the levels of acceleration. A g-force from 0 to 0 0.35 is considered as safe and is not a harsh acceleration. So we can give a green tick to our driver for the harsh acceleration behavior. 
In order to see the driver's anticipation skill, we can analyze what the driver did after he accelerated. Looking at this curve, we can observe that there is a sudden decrease in the speed. From a speed of 92 km per hour, the driver deaccelerated to 1 km per hour in 24 seconds. This is equivalent to a g-force of minus 0.3 and corresponds to harsh braking. So what could be the reason? If you observe the route after the maximum speed point, we see a river bridge called the Herur bridge. So it is possible that the bridge had a reduced speed limit which needed the driver to deaccelerate. However, going down from a high speed of 92 to a very low speed of 1 km per hour is a clear indication that the driver did not anticipate. So, let us give our driver a red for the anticipation. Now, let us see if the driving behavior also impacts the vehicle. The telematic device also collects data related to various alarms which are raised by the vehicle. A zero indicates no issue while a one indicates a problem with the vehicle. There are more than 50 plus sensor values such as the vehicle speed, the acceleration, oxygen throttle, air temperature and much more. We can use machine learning decision tree to find any relation between the sensor values and the alarm. This will help us to know which of the factors impact the vehicle health. So here is a decision tree which has got different sensors as the decision nodes and the alarm as the output node. You can see that the top factors which lead to a vehicle alarm are the battery, the acceleration and the speed. So a bad driving behavior not only impacts the driver's safety but also impacts the vehicle health. You can also try out some of the analytics which I have shown in this video on the channel's website experiencedatascience.com which is a no-code platform to learn data science. On this website, you can go to the experience driving behavior analysis. You can then click on the data story to understand the context. And then you can get hands on and try it out for yourself. You can hover over the tip button, which will tell you on what to do at each step. You'll be able to experience all the visuals and analytics which are shown in this video without any need to code. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to the channel, like and comment on the video.